All right. So, we have taken out the TYC projector. This is what it looks like. Okay. This is why this isn't a good projector, and I'm going to show you in two seconds here. First and foremost, you can tell that that is a halogen projector just based on how it's oval shaped. It's trying to collect as much light as it possibly can, and this is also what causes glare. Uh, if you do put HIDs uh, in here because of uh, the amount of light that's being processed above the cutoff. Whereas with the true HID projector, see how it's kind of squared off there? So it focuses the light and the light is going to be a lot wider and not so high above the cutoff. So this is a lot more accurate in putting light on the road versus this. It's a cheap projector, I mean can pretty much tell but I'm gonna go ahead and crack it open got a little Phillips head screwdriver here I'm sitting behind the camera so you have to excuse me if the angles come out kinda of weird but we're just gonna go ahead and pop these screws out I already did uh, my right one so I'll show you what it looks like so you guys don't have to sit here and watch the whole thing but stay tuned because uh, I have a video of my car before and after and so you guys will get to see the difference and honestly speaking uh, other than popping these things in the oven and cracking them open and doing a little bit of cutting I did have to cut be sure though that you get a projector that's gonna fit your housing because honestly speaking I'm not good with fabricating anything are cutting, uh, you know, and all custom stuff. That's just not my cup of tea. And I found this to be, they had some challenges, but for the most part, I found this to be relatively easy. Um, so definitely check what projector is going to fit. My suggestion would not be to contact TYC. They're, in my opinion, they're not going to give you a lot of information. Um, they First and foremost, they do not want you using um, HIDs any type of kit inside their projectors they consider that illegal and they will not support you on it I've tried alright so I'm just gonna pop this out real quick I want you guys to see the difference in projectors Now I'm not gonna bust open my Valero projectors put together a lot better but I can see the insides of it here pretty well alright one second almost finished alright so okay, what the hell alright shit did I miss a screw one hell is stuck you know what I must have oh I did oops I want you guys to see this though. You're going to be really bugged out on how cheap. And like I said, I like TYC makes great stuff. Don't get me wrong, but this is just a cheap projector. Um, okay, so here it is. I'm kind of holding it. But <laughs> this is the shield. And this is what causes the problems in a lot of glare for oncoming drivers. You see how much focus light is above this shield? and then how it's not squared off I mean projectors are great at focusing light but when you put a HID that's producing so much light output inside of a enclosure like this this just spells bad news it's just not made for that kind of light so it doesn't typically work and then the insides I'm not sure if you guys can see this but this is like a plastic kind of coating on top of some type of uh, metal so this can actually melt and in my other one it actually cracked a little bit so at any rate, I mean, come on. You have the real deal versus something else. But let me show you what the finished product, or not the finished product, but somewhat finished product looks like. Okay, so this is the other one that actually has oops, the Vallejo projector in it. A D1S, and I'm going to just crack this open so you guys can see. Did a little bit of rigging, but I'm pretty happy with it. So this is it. 
the UNS projector. These actual adjustments still work. Uh, I have to Dremel out the holes. The holes are a little bit smaller on the Vallejo versus what comes standard with the TYC. On the back of the projector, you can see that that is a D1S connection. Uh, great. That wasn't cool. Um, everything, this is rubberized to prevent any type of moisture or whatever from easily getting in. I mean, for the most part, it took me a couple hours to do one, but I was really taking my time. If you really bust ass, you can probably get it done, I would say, uh, within a couple hours for both. But here's my uh, TYC 2001-2003 Civic Retrofit with Vallejo HIDs. By the way, this these uh, Vallejos are off of a Audi A4. They're not by Xenon, they're just a standard one. I've gotten a couple of questions about that. These are just standard. Alright guys, stay tuned. Later. Thanks for watching.